<laughs> hey, thank you so much for the warm inter introduction. So, my name is Juha. I'm CEO and co-founder of Quantsci, and, and we are building multi-physics simulations using cloud and quantum computing. Multi-physics simulations are an engineering tool that are used in various industries such as semiconductor, energy, automotive, and aerospace, just to name a few. And what it actually does is that, as an engineer, if you design your 3D model of something, let's say, for example, an electric motor, you can move that into a multi-physics simulation platform and simulate how it actually works in real life. The word digital prototyping is used a lot in the industry. So it actually is an existing software industry. There's competition. It's already used a lot. But the common factor with the existing tools out there is that they are based in desktop technology. They might offer cloud solutions, but what they cannot do is distribute the computation efficiently in the cloud. And that causes several problems for the engineers. So most of the engineers need to constantly reduce the complexity of their simulation models. And that's a problem because that's slow manual work and time consuming. But also, when you have simplified models, you have simplified simulation results. So it's a huge compromise in terms of accuracy. And of course, for the engineering decision makers, the most important thing is to reduce time, risk, and cost that it takes to design new high technology products. And one of the best ways to do that is high quality, high accuracy simulations that can even replace a lot of the physical prototypes that you need to build and enable you to iterate more rapidly. Also, more flexible software licensing is definitely needed because simulation work tends to be sporadic by nature. If you have a fixed set of licenses, your team of engineers will be struggling to get access to that resource when simulation season is on, so to say. And in the low season, these expensive licenses are sitting idle. And that's exactly why we built Quanta and Allsolve, our cloud and quantum-based multi-physics simulation platform. So what's possible already today is that we have demonstrated and proven several hundred times speed-ups in multi-physics simulations. And what it means is that we, we can reduce the runtime of complex simulations from days or weeks to coffee breaks. And we can eliminate the engineer's need to simplify their models. And we also vision a future where simulation products are no longer used as a separate manual step in the design process. Instead, they're seamlessly integrated into the workflow. So you could kind of think, it of, think of it as continuous integration and automated testing, but for hardware. So engineers could be working on their design tools, and that can automatically trigger hundreds of simulations that validate these design changes. And this data can be combined with the like <coughs> physics-informed AI algorithms, such as NVIDIA Modulus, which we're actually starting to collaborate with NVIDIA. So bottom line, enabling more experiments, more rapid iterations, and therefore speeding up your product design cycles greatly. And that's with the cloud. That's what we can do today. But with the quantum, really, the impossible can be made possible. So the likes of very accurate airplane aerodynamic simulations that could eventually replace things like wind tunnel testing. Now, here's a case study. We did with a recent customer just to give some quantification on this. So before they st started using Quanza and also, they were using a desktop-based approach. And it took them three weeks of pure runtime for the simulation, so basically waiting to get the results. And when they compared those results to experimental measurement data from built prototypes, they were within 10% accuracy. When they switched, three weeks became eight hours, and the accuracy went up from within 10% to within 3%. So basically, three times a more accurate results in a fraction of the time. And this allowed them to iterate daily instead of monthly and actually make justified, accurate design decisions based on simulation data alone. Now, the industry in total is growing to be a 15 billion market by 2030. And another way to look at it from the bottom up is that you can take an R&D budget of a high technology company 
typically about 1% of that goes to simulation software licenses. The biggest individual market is by far semiconductors and energy. That's exactly what we're targeting first with customers in the fusion energy industry and in the semiconductor industries. Automotive and aerospace are close behind. And as you see, kind of cloud-based usage for simulation tools is today about 13%. And what's been holding that back is exactly that you don't get the benefit of distributed computing with the existing products. With us, you can. And we closed our first deals in March this year. And since then, we've grown to about 200,000 annual recurring revenue. And in the next couple of years, we intend to solidify our position in the energy and semiconductors market, then start expanding to automotive and aerospace and introduce our first quantum algorithms within our product in 2027, which will basically be a multiplier for everything. Now, talking a little bit about quantum, what we achieved and how we justify these claims. So, we are the first and only team in the world that has actually successfully run these simulations using real quantum hardware with accurate results. We did this already in the summer of 2022, and right now we're running 2D simulations using quantum hardware. And what we need for that is 12 qubits, so basically quantum bits. But the thing is that with every qubit we add, we can double the size of the problem, so that grows exponentially. So with just something like 60 to 80 qubits, we can start pushing the limits of what can be done with the best-in-class supercomputers of today. And that enables things like accurate aerodynamics for airplane design, for automotive design, more accurate climate modeling, even full-scale fusion power plant plasma simulations, and various other industrial processes that just cannot be simulated because of their complexity today at all. We have a founding team of four people. I'm more focused on the business side of matters. Our CTO, Alexandre, is the author of our cloud scaling algorithms. Walter leads our quantum team, and Asser is the head of our cloud development team. And we're re reinforced by two seasoned professionals in our T COO, Temu, and VP of sales, Nicola. And in total, we're 24 people, a diverse group of 10 different nationalities, and we're spread across Europe in our team with the base of operations right here in Finland. And uh, we're actually gearing up for our next fundraise, our Series A. And with the funds, we plan to expand geographically to North America. We uh, already have a general manager for the country, looked, who is capable and interested in joining. We plan to expand our sales, marketing teams, business teams, but also make strategic recruitments to re reinforce our quantum research team, but also the product development team. So with that, I'd like to invite you to join, join the new quantum era in simulations with our current lead investors, Maki VC, first fellow partners. And uh, if you want to talk about quantum, I'm here for today. So please be in, be in touch. Thank you so much for your attention.